Uh, sorry, you was echoing. Could you could you ask that again? When we talked to you last week and you said that you wanted to make this a place where you would retire, how confident were you at that point that you felt like an extension would get done pretty soon? Um, I mean, I, I was just confident in myself and where I wanted to be. Um, you know, I, I left everything else in, you know, where, you know, they, they make the decision um, at the end of the day. Um, I love being here. I love the family um, that I've created. Uh, in my first year, um, and uh, this is where I want to be. This is home. I'm I'm at home, and um, I want to build a, a, a something a, a real foundation. And um, ultimately, this is where uh, my legacy, uh, where I want to leave the biggest imprint on. And I know that you make a, a decision like this based on a number of factors, you know, being home and whatnot. But you've talked for so long about how you feel like you and Kawhi had such a good relationship. Um, how much of this decision, locking yourself in long term, was optimism that you believe your partnership with Kawhi will continue for the long term together? Uh, well, you know, I'm hopeful. Um, I won't put words in another mouth. Um, but, you know, I'm hopeful. Um, he's one of the guys that I talked to and uh, kind of wanted to inform, hey, this is a decision I wanted to make. I want to be here long term. Um, it's not putting a gun, gun to Kawhi and, and, you know, telling him he's got to do this or do that. Um, hopefully it's a mutual bond. Um, and, uh, you know, we both enjoy playing with one another. So, um, you know, he's, everybody's got their own decisions to make. And, um, you know, uh, hopefully me showing my commitment, uh, being here and, and wanting to play with him long term, um, you know, sticks out. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. We'll move over to Farbaugh. Farbaugh, you can go ahead. Hey, PG, I, I know you had mentioned before how special it was to have your family be able to come to games and how, you know, your mom had a stroke when you were at a young age. How special is it for you, and how much did it impact your decision knowing that now they're able to stay watching your games long-term in L.A.? My family is, is the biggest uh, factor um, in this decision. Uh, to stay home, make it easy on my family. Um, and again, this is a childhood dream um, being fulfilled. Um, you know, it's, it's just priceless. Um, regardless of what this deal was was for, it's, it's a priceless deal to me. Um, having an opportunity to play here and uh, be in front of my family, my friends. Um, and again, uh, leaving, leaving my mark on, you know, a place I grew up at. Move over to Brian Seaman. Uh, this is a question for Lawrence. Um, can you give me your thoughts on, you know, uh, securing a, a cornerstone for a very, very long time here uh, for the organization when, you know, a couple of years ago, we kind of wondered, you know, what direction it would go. You've got a big piece now for quite a long time. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's a really significant moment uh, for the franchise. You know, it's one thing to acquire a great player like Paul. It's another thing to retain him. And we're extremely honored that he trusts the organization uh, with this chapter of his career. It's both a tremendous privilege and it's also a massive responsibility. And, and Paul's a, a partner in this. And we, we value uh, what he thinks. Uh, and things we need to do going forward. And I think the commitment that we've made to each other, I think is, is significant. And we also both believe the best is yet to come, both for Paul and also for our team. Thanks, we're moving to Mark Medina. Hey, Mark Medina here, USA Today. Uh, this question is for Lawrence. Uh, is there any momentum towards doing anything with Kawhi long-term? Is that more of something for next summer? Yeah, well, I think, look, this day is all about Paul, and I think Paul answered it really, really well, that, you know, Paul and Kawhi are great teammates. They obviously enjoy playing together, but they're also their own men. Kawhi is not eligible like Paul was for an extension. Um, so we'll never make any assumptions about anyone's decisions, but we're, we're super excited about the, the kinship and the brotherhood that both those guys have, have formed. And uh, like I said, today is a, a great day with, with the decision Paul's made, and uh, it's, it's a significant day for our franchise. Move over to Miriam. Go ahead, Miriam. 
Hey, PG. Um, congrats, and congrats to Lawrence as well. Um, PG, what, what did the Clippers organization show you in the last year that kind of proved their commitment to winning and commitment to, to wanting to be a destination franchise that, that won you over? Uh, well, it was a competitive team before I got here. And uh, them sending the house to come grab me um, showed that their commitment to win and, and wanting to put uh, a winning team out there. And, um, you know, I, I have full faith and full trust in uh, their process and their their ability to build a team. And, and can I also ask, well, obviously, you, you, you know, you come under a lot of flack from different directions for, for all kinds of things. Uh, what, what, besides, obviously, the, the nice extension, what has the organization, organization done to sort of support you and show that they have your back? Um, uh, multiple things. I mean, again, uh, their ability, ability to grab me, then put me in the best position to be successful um, on and off the court. Um, you know, it just speaks value, um, you know, and, and they've been very supportive, very helpful, um, you know, again, whether it's on the court or off the court um, in providing resources um that you know that can help me long term and so um at the end of the day you know what they've done and, and what they've helped me with um you know this deal you know was more so about my loyalty to this team and to this organization thanks man move over to home move over to home pg congrats on the new deal man um Last week you were telling us how comfortable you are. You're more comfortable going into the season. Just, you know, your shoulders feeling better. You having an off season to train again. Um, this being your second year with this team. Now with this deal kind of behind you and, and you knowing where you're going to be, where you're going to be able to call home. I was wondering if you can talk about your mindset during the season because I know on that podcast you, with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, you said you're going to be on a lot of the people who doubt you and show a lot of people what you what you have left. And you were talking about, listening to Kobe all the time. I was wondering about your mindset this year and, and if you feel like you have to prove a lot of people wrong that doubted you after what happened in the postseason. Um, you know what? It's, it's not even about proving people wrong um, or answering questions uh, to people that don't really have um, much value into my life. Um, it's more so about me uh, going out there and, and being reliable for my teammates, being reliable for this organization. Um, that's where my focus is. That's where my mindset is. Um, and if I keep it to that, if that is my mindset on a nightly basis, um, every, every other question will be answered. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm in tune with myself. I'm in tune with my mind. Um, and it's, it's just about me exploding into this season. And, um, you know, for myself, I'm looking forward to the start of this season. Thanks, Paul. Beth Harris, you can go ahead. Yeah, hey, Paul, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, how important was it for you to get a deal done now and not have the situation hanging over the upcoming season? Um, I'm a player that don't play for contracts. Um, I've never, you know, went into a season thinking, hey, I got to get to the next one. Um, I play every year my hardest. I leave it all on the floor. Whatever those results are, those results. Um, I know the work that I put into this craft. And um, I just believe in, you know, who I am and who I've been in this in this league and, and who I am as a person. So I never approach a season looking, you know, of what kind of deal I can get, what I'm playing for. Um, the fact of the matter is I'm, I'm not a stats guy. Um, I go out and play hard and, and, and just try to compete as hard as I can. Thanks. Move over to Dylan Hernandez. Dylan, you good? Yeah. Hi, hey, Paul. Uh, you know, I know in the past you've talked a lot about loyalty and obviously this organization's made a huge commitment, not just in acquiring you, but now in, you know, extending you into this deal. What do you feel now that maybe you owe to the organization now going forward from here? Um, I owe them a trophy. I owe them a trophy. That's what I owe this organization. Um, it's, 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 this is a, a, a window that we're trying to capture. And uh, my commitment and my job is to try to bring a title here. And is keeping Kawhi here, I know, like you say, he's his own man and stuff, but obviously you can kind of write, um, you know, by being a good teammate to him, by, you know, maybe performing up to 
you know, the level you've been at in the past, uh, maybe make that decision easier for him? I mean, is, does that feel, do you feel that responsibility at all? Uh, well, the responsibility is to make him feel like the way I felt when I came into my extension. Um, I knew where I wanted to be. Um, I knew who I wanted to play with. Um, that's my responsibility to go into this season. And, and, and again, it's Kawhi's decision. You know, I'm a grown man. If he decides to go elsewhere, that's a decision that, you know, I'll be happy for him. Um, but my my hoping and, and my responsibility and what I would love is, is to play with him for, you know, the rest of my contract or, or the rest of his contract. So, um I guess I got to work on that uh, when it comes down to his time. Thank you. Move over to Tomer. Hey, Paul. First of all, congratulations on the extension uh, for you and Lawrence as well. I'm curious, when, when the trade went down um, last summer, uh, what, was this a day that you envisioned down the line? I know you say you don't think about contract. Was, was this a day you envisioned? And also, did you feel any pressure right away to – I, I know this is a long-term probably agreement here, but did you feel pressure to get things done right away or did you understand this would be a long-term process? As far as what? As far as, you know, not only you, you had uh, two years left in your deal, but obviously, you know, you extended it back then. Did you feel like this would be a long-term process when you first got traded here? Um, yeah, th this is where I ultimately wanted to be before the – extension talks came into play. Um, fact of the matter was um, my agent came to me saying I was up for an extension and uh, there was no other decision to be made. Um, I knew this is where I wanted to be. Um, you know, at this point in my career, I, I, again, it's about leaving the legacy with, with uh, an organization I really wanted to be associated with. Um, and not to, you know, I loved everywhere that I've been, but um, at this point in my career, um, this is where, you know, I want my biggest legacy to be. Thank you. Move over to Nick Hamilton. Hey, Paul, congratulations on the extension. Definitely well earned, well deserved. Um, you do so much great work uh, as far as the community goes. I know you do a lot of things in Southern California and Antelope Valley. How much do you feel like this will continue to help your work and, and have the people benefit with you being uh, here for the, for the mainstay of your career? Well, yeah, this will continue to open a lot of doors. Um, this will continue to allow me to push the envelope. Um, this will continue to allow me to be hands-on in not only my community, but um, Los Angeles County communities. Um, and again, this partnership is a long-term time partnership being here in California. So it's, it's, it's just more work that I can do um, being here. And, 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 and ultimately it's, it's uh, you know, I'm from here. So, um, you know, it's, it's just about connecting and, you know, being hands-on and being more involved in these communities. Sabrina. Hey, this question is for Lawrence. Um, it seems like your first couple years in the front office with the Clippers, there was a lot of turnover, some shorter contracts, but now you have this long-term commitment to Paul, you know, another long-term commitment to Marcus Morris was made during free agency. Do you feel like you guys are entering like a new phase of team building officially now? Yeah, I think, you know, early on, what we were trying to do is we were trying to build the foundation to be in a position to be able to make long-term long -term commitments to players we felt could help us build a sustainable championship contender franchise. And I think the commitment that Paul's made today, I mean, Paul's one of the elite two-way players uh, and players like Paul are very, very rare and uh, he, he's proven it. And I think something that many times doesn't get noted is what happened to Paul back in 2014. And for him to come back after eight months off that, that gruesome injury and to, to show that he's one of the best players in the world. And I guess to answer your question, Sabrina, when you have an opportunity, you, you try to position yourself to every year have a chance to win a championship and you can't do it without great players like Paul. Thanks, move over to Shane Young. Hey Paul, uh, congrats on the new deal. I'm, I'm just curious, uh, you, you kind of touched on it earlier when you were talking about how grateful you were to Lawrence and, and Steve Ballmer for this opportunity. Um, Specifically, what you know, what has that relationship been with Steve in the year and a half that you've been there, and how has that been so far? 
Uh, it's great. Um, it's great. Um, and I think what I value most about the relationship is, uh, you know, he does his best to make it a partnership and he's made it a partnership uh, more so than an owner player relationship. Um, and you, as a player, you value that. Um, I, I respect him the utmost, um, you know, and, and uh, he's just a great individual and, um, you know, is someone that, you know, ultimately is it's his connection to this team and, and, you know, his passion and his love for this team is what you want to go out there and play for and lay it on the line for. So um, I love Steve. I love what he stands for. And, uh, you know, I, I love his involvement with this team.